Hello everyone, back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Curland Pocket. So, um, should I just jump right on in? Um, you want to do some things to say first? I am running out of ideas for these videos, and also I'm getting kind of lazy when it comes to them, if I'm being honest. So, um, my setup hasn't gotten any better, really, but, uh, I, it's really why I've been just making gaming videos lately. I'm thinking about doing something else, possibly. Like, broadening out my, my things I'm going to do. I think about starting a Minecraft series. I might do it today or when my procrastination is finally done. I'm doing that. Makes no sense, but, eh, whatever. Um, okay, let's get into this. The uh, Curland Pocket was an encirclement started in July 9, 1944, ending in 1945, May. It was one of Germany's worst blunders, losing men and equipment that Germany could, could little spare. You may now be asking, how did this happen to the once mighty German army? First, let's look at the situation in Germany in 1944. Uh, army Group South is losing ground fast because of the Battle of Stalingrad. The army Group Center is, is weak from the Battle of Kursk. And according to the... Dupi Institute that lost they, they lost over 200 tanks and over a thousand damage were damaged in the battle. Army Group North is all that is not in tatters until Operation Bagration, which happened at the worst time for at the worst time for Germany as the Americans and British had landed at Normandy. Operation Bagration was focused on the Baltic states in Belarus, including Poland and Prussia. The offensive began on the 22nd of June, destroying the entire entire German divisions. What was left of Army Group Center fled, fled into Germany, and the, and the Red Army reached the Baltic Sea, cutting off Army Group North from the rest of the German army. The now trapped army stood no chance, and they were and they were pushed out of Estonia, Riga, but there weren't except except for Fortress Kurland, which would have 200,000 men. Divided into 26 divisions, would hold Kurland against six attacks by the Red Army, where they would eventually surrender at war's end. Some attempted to form a Freikorps, and the Latvians would would form the Forest Brothers. Germany Germany would attempt to evacuate the army via air. If you want to know more about this, you can watch the video, Last Flight of the, of the Luftwaffe Kurland Evacuation V Day, 1945. Also, I'm being honest, I was kind of lazy when I was making that script. There was this uh, one video an hour long that went into it. I'm, I'm just trying to make this short. So you know what's <laughs> of the event. It was a course, but... Uh, I really don't want to watch it six... Well, it, was, it was a long video, okay? If you, if you guys know, the people watching this are probably history nerds, or they or they really just trying to watch this. A short video that sums it up. forgot the hell I was going to say. Wow, uh, that's just great. Um, the game I'm playing here is Call, Call to Arms Ostfront. It's a great game. It's not on sale anymore. I'd recommend buying it on sale. It, it, it's amazing. Okay. So, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, keep on loving history. I forget what my freaking outro is. <laughs> keep on loving history, I guess.